Welcome to Driftwood and Shine. Uh, guys, I'm Debbie, and tonight we're going to craft with some mini rolling pins. These come from Hobby Lobby. You get them in a pack. I want to say it's a pack of four that they come in for like um, $4.99, but then you can get them half off whenever their unfinished wood is on sale. But tonight, listen, I'm going to count on y'all to share this out because my iPhone is on the blink. It won't send out text. It won't do anything. It won't go live. So I'm on my Android. Nothing is switched. So when you see it, it's, it's going to be backwards to you. Okay? But tonight, what we're going to do, we're going to start by getting this iPhone that won't work out of the way. For one thing. We're going to start by, we've got two stars. We're going to paint one of them white. Just gonna, and I'm painting it with chalk paint, guys. Waverly chalk paint. And it doesn't really matter. You can paint it with acrylic, whatever you have. I have Waverly chalk paint. So. Some, white, some reason around here, white paint does not stay around very long. Try to get every area of it. Although we are going to distress it because we're, we're going for the, the vintage kind of... Fourth of July kind of thing. Okay, I got that painted. Now I'm going to paint the next one with a blue. Real pretty, the ocean, Waverly Ocean. Whoops. Got way too much paint on that one. Jeez. I was trying to get a lot. These little rolling pins are so cute, and I have a way to make them. I want to show you. I just got to get all the supplies that you don't have to have actual rolling pins. And they still look like rolling pins. But, um, anyhow. Guys, we had a busy day today. We did get out. If you have signed up for the retreat, please check your email. Because you have an email show, telling you where to go and... All that kind of stuff. So check your email. And if you hadn't signed up, y'all, get your ticket. Get your ticket. Because it is going to be fantabulous. Fantabulous. We're so excited. Okay. Got those two painted. And I got way too much paint on there. But that's okay. All right. Now. <laughs> now we're going to take wet coffee filters. Oh, wait a minute. Nope, let's finish out. We're going to paint these white on the ends. Just paint them white. You could paint them blue if you wanted to. Like, I could paint that one blue, but I'm going with the um, white kind of thing. Off-white kind of thing. Okay. I just got this Waverly white paint. Well, I mean, it's been probably a couple months, but it's already about gone. <laughs> it's already about gone. of white. Guess, because we sure use it a lot. All crafters use it a lot. And see how I am? I'm painting the edge. Now, I'm not worried about getting on this part, because you're not going to see that anyway. Not going to see that anyway. Oh, I took my last Guys, I took my last dose of steroids today. I told Sonny I sure hope tomorrow night I can sleep because I probably have not slept. I'm guessing around 10, maybe pushing 12 hours in, ever since last week when I started those steroids. And I just feel wired. <laughs> and I want to be a sleepy, but when I lay down, it just my, I'm just wide awake. I was up. 
reading in the Bible at 4.30 this morning because I had read something last night before I went to bed and I wanted to, you know, wanted to read a little bit. I just got my phone. I didn't pick the Bible up. I just used my Bible app on the phone and, and then I went ahead and got up this morning out of the bed at 6. 6.30 I think it was. So I could go ahead and, you know, study because that was an awesome devotion this morning. Awesome. And uh, then get my notes together, you know, for for the retreat and things I had to ask the lady at the motel and, you know, all that good stuff. Okay, now we've got the two ends painted white on both of them. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take the wet, it's just damp coffee filters and we're going to dip it in, I'm just dipping it in the top of the brown. That's a little much there. And I'm going to go ahead and kind of distress up the um, star, the both stars. Just, But I'm not doing it any certain way. See how I'm doing? I'm just kind of putting some brown on there and then wiping it right off to, just to get it to have a, a dirty look like it's been through many wars. That's, that's my idea. It's been through many wars. And it just looks a little, a little just a little distressed. Now the brown, the blue one would probably have to distress a little bit more for it to show up that it's distressed. Get a little bit more on there. Yeah. But I'm putting a little bit more on this one so it'll look a little more distressed. See, it just looks dirty. Like it's been, you know, through, through a war or two. Now we're going to do the same thing to our ends. I want them to look smutty and dirty. But then you can use your paper towel, you know, if you get a little too much or whatever, your uh, coffee filter, and wipe some of it off. But I want to make sure I get in the crevices. I mean, I don't want anywhere to look white. I want it to look like it's, you know, it's had to fight a few battles. It's had to fight a few battles. We all feel like we have to fight a few battles sometime because we forget we can let the Lord fight them for us. That's okay. Because he's always there to remind us. Always. Okay, see the difference in the two? You want it to look, or I'm wanting it to look, kind of distressed. Y'all sprinkle it out there, because like I said, my iPhone is on the blink. It won't, it won't even pull up nothing. It won't send out text messages. It won't do anything. So I guess it got mad at me today, maybe. This is going to be a really cute, cute craft, but really, it's a pretty quick one. I know um, I get in trouble for quick ones, but that's okay. It has been um, a busy, busy day, but it's so rewarding. Okay, that looks cool. Yeah, that looks cool. Y'all see my hands shaking? <laughs> These steroids have me. Never, never taken any before. <laughs> didn't know, didn't know how they were gonna do. <laughs> okay, now I've got these two pieces of scrapbook paper, just the red and white stripe, and then the um, kind of this is kind of distressed already with the the flag shapes. This one's not too distressed so we'll have to we'll have to color it up a little bit. But all we're gonna do is take our Mod Podge and of course put it on
put it on good enough, guys, that it can stick your, your scrapbook paper. I've already cut the scrapbook paper. All I did was lay it down like this and just kind of eyeballed it. It's a little bit big, but it's okay. I think it, it goes this way. It's not too much too big, but I just kind of eyeballed it. <coughs> so just lay your scrapbook paper down from one end to the other. And this one now, we don't have to be as, when you don't have a straight pattern like this, you don't have to be as careful about, you know, keeping it straight. We got to keep it straight, but it don't have to be like a stressing thing. And when we got these straight stripes, we got to pretty much make sure we lay it down good. Okay, I'm just going over the edge of that piece of, of scrapbook paper right there. And then we're literally just going to take it and we're going to roll it. And just keep putting us down some Mod Podge. But, you know, kind of hold it tight. like that then you want to make sure you you know seal that that side pretty good okay that's what we got right now I'm gonna leave that to the side and let it kind of hang out while we do this one now this is the one we got to get straight this is my straight edge so that's where I want to end with so I'm gonna start with my one I didn't get so straight have to lay it out and get it as straight as you can on there. This way, I'm gonna do the same thing. Lay me out some good Mod Podge and just keep rolling it and keep holding it with my hand. And I'm trying to watch to make sure I stay as close to my edges as I can, and then that way, hopefully, it'll help me get my my line straight. Oh, I hear thunder, guys. We're gonna have some bad weather. Okay, look. Oh, look here. Look. Ha uh ha. -huh. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We got it pretty straight. Maybe off just a pinch, but it's good. It's good enough for us. Okay, I'm just getting it down good. I'm going to make sure that I seal it real well. And then I'm going to take my coffee filter and we're fixing to kind of just dress up this because we want it to look old and he's got a lot of white on him so we want it to look old so and don't have to put that much I may have put more than I wanted but it's okay because we just want it to look old like he's like I said he's been through a lot of wars got a lot of knockdowns Oh, I love it. Love it. Now, I may put a little bit more on that then to make him a little bit more distressed out. You know what? I forgot to turn my, forgot to turn my heat gun on. I'm going to go ahead and work on the other one. I forgot to turn my heat gun on. Okay, we're going to lay that to the side. Everything seems to be pretty good on that one. I think I want to use my blue on that one. Yeah, I want to use that one on here. But on here now, I think I think I am going to just go over it just a tiny bit, not much, because it's looking a little whitish in these places. So I think I'm going to just go over it a little bit like that. 
with this dirty rag. I'm not even dipping it back in. I'm just using where I was in that. Very simple, guys. These are just very, very simple. But I just wanted them distressed and look like they've fought some battles. Now, I do have this one just a little bit long because it's a little harder to measure it than that one. So you can actually, you know, just go around the top edge. Well, it's not doing it real well. Go around the top edge, though, and, and just get it off. Now, mine did tear a little bit, but it's okay because we've got it distressed. So it's not going to matter anyway. I've got a new piece of stuff on here, but it ain't. But we want to knock it down. We didn't want it standing up like that, so that's okay. Plus, maybe that'll give my heat gun time to get cooking. That's kind of giving it a little more distressed. I like that. Cool. Okay. Now all we got to do right here on this edge, see we can take our same rag and just kind of knock it down and make it look even more distressed right there. Okay. Now. Let's see if our either one of our heat guns is ready. Heat guns. Hot glue guns. Oh, we're not supposed to say Hot glue. Yep, yeah, there we go. Let's see. Where I'm going to put him. I think I'm going to put him the opposite side. Because here is where, here's where I put it together at. Right here, back here. So I'm going to come to my opposite side and put my, my little star. I think I'm going to put him just like that. Oh boy, that stuff has my hands to shaking. I love that. Look, just old and looks like it's just old. And this started out all white. And look, now it's all old looking. And we'll put our blue one on here, and here's where we put it together. So we'll come over here and put it right there. And these we'll use on our um, Americana tray when we get our, hopefully my um, ice cubes are supposed to be in this week so we can make our um, lemonade and we've already got our tea, we've already got our um, cherry cola and then we're gonna make some other little 4th of July stuff and we're gonna stack us a Americana tray this week. So, but anyhow, there we go guys. Really, really, I think that's really simple but cute. You could, now you could tie Use some raffia around it or, you know, like maybe right under here. But I like it just like it is. I like it just like that. Just nice and distressed. That's really cute. Love it. So, that's it for tonight, guys. We um, distressed these up. Y'all make sure to check out the retreat and get your ticket if you haven't bought it. We don't want anybody to miss out and we want everybody to be there so we can have a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of fun. Bunch of fun. We, um, already got some ideas for what's going to be in the swag bag. They're going to be awesome. Awesome. We've, um, me and Sonny kicked around the surprise for the VIP dinner night today. It's going to be really awesome. So, I'm excited. I'm excited, guys. So, y'all get in there and get your ticket bought. Y'all please share this out, though. 
because like I said, the iPhone, let me see if it'll even, I'm going to see if it'll pull it up right now. Let's just see if it'll pull up this one shine. Unable to load page. I don't know what's going on with it. So, I couldn't send out text. Y'all hear that rain? Do y'all hear that hard rain? Woo! Goodness. But anyhow, I couldn't send out text. So, y'all help us get this out so, you know, them 900 million people can see it. And, um, we'll be back on tomorrow with some more stuff. But tonight, I'm on, right now, I'm feeling a little bit tired, I'm hoping. So, I'm going to go in there and lay down and see if maybe, maybe these steroids will let me sleep a little while because... I've been taking them now. Seven days. And seven days with hardly no sleep. I'm tired. <laughs> so anyhow, I'm going to go try to get some sleep. But y'all, make you some of these. But I am going to try to get find the supplies. Um, hopefully this week so I can show you how we can make them without having... the These come from Hobby Lobby. And they, they do have little... Like you can feel a little spring tension in there, but um, we can make some. We will. All right, I love you guys. Y'all go have a ball sleeping, and y'all sleep for me. <laughs> and um, go get your tickets. <laughs> go get your tickets. All right, guys, I love you. Bye.